In this program, we're going to talk about a term that we all have heard, but we may not understand that the term is immunity. And uh, to help us focus on the importance of this, listen. Alcohol seems to affect many wings of the immune system, including the cells that help decrease HIV replication in the peripheral blood. This, according to a survey reported in the Journal of Infectious Diseases, in fact says it took three beers consumed over just two days to impair the body's immunological response. Now, you may not have heard all of that, so we're going to replay it with our guest, Dr. Benjamin Lau. Dr. Lau, we're glad to welcome you here. You are professor of microbiology and immunology at Loma Linda University School of Medicine. Did I get all that right? You got it perfectly right. Ben. Thank you. We're glad <laughs> to have you here. Dr. Cheng, always. We're glad to have you Thank here. You. And Dr. Neblet. Now, give us a definition, a layperson of the immune system. Why do we need it? What does it do? Okay, the immune system is a system that will make you feel good, keep you healthy. Is so that lay enough? <laughs> that is, we all want to be healthy. We all want to feel good. I think you used the word earlier to the defense system. That's right. The immune system is almost like the United States Department of Defense. So it maintains the peace, national peace, and uh, protects against uh, foreign invaders. And we're talking about uh, germs, mm -hmm. all kinds of disease. That's right. Now, this quotation that uh, I read at the outset here says just two beers, or three beers rather, over mm -hmm. two days can adversely affect our immune system. Is that really true? That's true if it's published. Is that, did you say it's published? Yeah, it's but anyway, <laughs> but uh, we can demonstrate Well, listen, are you suggesting that everything is published? Is no, true? not at all, not at all. Uh, but I have personal experience. We can demonstrate okay. that very easily then. In the laboratory, I can put the uh, equivalent of uh, two beers into my test tube with these immune cells. Okay. I can make them sleep. They will not work anymore. Is there a... Just two beers. On a hot day, you know, refreshing kind of thing. <laughs> And that might let us catch a cold more easily, you're suggesting? Definitely. Uh -huh. Or you just have a chronic fatigue, that kind of situation. Well, how about scary things, though, like cancer or HIV, AIDS? Could, could it really be that bad? Sure. Uh, it may take a little longer time. Now, in terms of talking about fighting HIV or cancer, we know that T lymphocytes is most important. Incidentally, Becky, what T lymphocytes? What T stand for? Thymus derived. That's right. That's now, right. Wait a very good. <laughs> you're, you're getting beyond us here. Thymus what? Thymus derived <laughs> lymphocytes. We have two kinds of lymphocytes. One is called B lymphocytes. Of course, B st does not stand for Becky. B stands for bone marrow derived. Okay. And the T lymphocyte derived from the thymus. Thymus. Awesome. thymus there. So T lymphocytes are very important in fighting cancer and fighting all viral diseases. And anything that reduces our immunity makes us more susceptible to these diseases. Exactly. Well, you, you mentioned know. alcohol. Are there other more common things, uh, I don't drink alcohol, that might also mm -hmm. reduce the uh, defense system of the body? Matt, you're right. Actually, we can probably have a dozen or more things that were fat, but let's talk about some legalized drugs. Okay. Alcohol is one of it, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, give me two others. Uh, uh, tobacco. Tobacco and one more, caffeine or c coffee. Okay. Oh, you mean caffeine can affect the immune system? That's right. And the caffeine, as the study has been shown, that uh, people are using, let's say, five or six uh, cups of, a, of a coffee, and we can demonstrate the suppression of the immune cells very easily. Even two to three cups sometimes will show uh, a depression of the immune function too. Okay, let's talk about also for the mother of small children in the home. How do we protect them? What what might affect the immune system of the little children and what can she know to help protect them? Well, uh, she should avoid all these uh, legalized drugs, number one. And when I talk about legalized drugs, I refer to uh, coffee and alcohol and, and tobacco. So okay. I have an acronym, just CAT, C-A-T, so you all remember that. Okay. All these three legalized drugs are known to suppress immune function. Okay. And uh, now, 
take alcohol, uh, alcohol for example, if a, if a mother drinks alcohol during pregnancy, it carries a very, very severe, profound uh, deficit on, on a fetus. Uh, uh, but, now, but Dr. Lau, it, <laughs> I, I uh, give cough medicines to my children. That's right. And when you read the label on a lot of cough medicines, they have alcohol in them. Are you suggesting yeah. that I don't give my children even cough medicine? Well, you uh, always had this uh, calculated risk, you might say. So you don't use it too often. If you can avoid not to use it, it would be even better. Now, but, now, but precisely the time that I want my child's immune system to, to be go up. going up, I'm uh -huh. giving them something that's making it go down. Uh huh. Oh, even more common, what about sugar? You know my oh, kids, sugar. they sugar. Sugar, I love to talk about sugar. I did a study. <laughs> my colleagues and I did a study quite a few years ago. Listen, uh, I'm going to ask you. Okay. I can tell that this is going to be an important thing, and I don't want to break it in the middle. So before right. you start, we'll go to break and be right back. Okay. Okay. Wrong, and you said you love to talk about sugar in a study. Oh, I'm going to tell you very briefly. Several years ago, my colleagues and I did a study. We fed some volunteers with uh, white sugar. And uh, half an hour later, we took the blood from these uh, volunteers uh, and uh, run a test. And uh, these white cells just refuse to kill bacteria. Normally, they will kill bacteria, but they just refuse to do so. The refusal lasts for several hours. And then we, uh, another occasion, we fed these uh, volunteers with starch. And we checked the blood again, and the white cell just performed perfectly. Starch did not touch them, but the white sugar did. How much sugar was it? You had to ask that. <laughs> I guess I had to tell you. It's uh, equivalent to about two to three donuts. It's uh, three ounces. Yeah. Wow. So that means that if I were to drink a soda, that's the effect that I'm going to expect you may ex expect some negative effect but you if you are good in everything else Matt, it w may not bother you see there's a lot of other factors but that... he but he's saying an amount as small as the sugar in one soda mm -hmm. would have this adverse effect so it if... has some effect but it may you may not be able to see the effect okay if you had a lot of good factors